Okay, let's go. Where? Let us take Vatris's ornament back. Then let's go. Follow me. stood was a place in which Enos and Beliar had no power. So much for you. Nothing to be had there. Now that we're no longer in town and cannot be overheard, let me tell you a little more. We are now going to take this ornament that you brought me back to Satyrus. You remember Satyrus, don't you? Certainly. He was the leader of the water mages in the new camp. We lads from the former new camp still have good relations with the water mages. Even Lee will still protect the water mages against any danger today if it's within his power. To keep up the contact with the water mages, I'm in town most of the time, working together with Vatris. And this is the armor that is issued to each of us by the water mages. The members of the Ring of Water have been wearing such armor since before the Orc Wars. What is Cavalorn's part in this? He wasn't a follower of the new camp as far as I know. You are right. Our community has grown. Even I do not know how many there are by now. But let us move on. I want to get further away from the city. We can talk more about it later. Let's move on. Stay close behind me.
What's the matter? What's the matter? Just look at that mess under the bridge over there. I haven't seen anything like it in my entire life. Those swine should be exterminated, I tell you. What happened? I was traveling with my helpers when those horrible brutes came jumping on my cart out of the blue and butchered everybody. I'm lucky that I still know how to dish out a decent right hook, or they would have killed me too. Who were those people? The bandits. Who else? They took over the bridge up there. They rob everybody who tries to pass the bridge. I knew they were lurking up there, so I passed under the bridge instead. But my cart and my goods must have been too tempting for them. Those scumbags simply jumped from the bridge directly onto my cart. Uh, I should have tried to steal past in the night. That stuff there under the bridge is yours? The cart, the goods, everything. Look, I collected some of your stuff for you. You can keep it. None of it is really of any value to me. The only thing that's irreplaceable are the three stone tablets they stole from me. Stone tablets? The water mage in town wants to buy them from me, and I promised he'd get them. I must have them back at any cost, or my reputation will be tarnished. What would a water mage want with them? He said he was going to study them, and asked me to bring him more. Where did you get those stone tablets? I found them near old buildings, such as mausoleums, or sometimes in caves. I've already sold a whole bunch of them to the water mages in town. They're pretty rare down here, though. I found most of them northeast of Corinus. Why don't you simply go looking for new ones? Uh, during that melee with the bandits, I sprained my ankle. I can still hobble along, but I don't want to walk very far on this foot. You managed to drive back the bandits? Yes, but I'm sure they're still up there on the bridge. Can you teach me how to hit hard like that? <laughs> of course I can. Show me how I can hit harder. All right, but you'll owe me for that. Help me save my reputation and bring back my stone tablets. Then I can show you how to make better use of your strength in combat. Are you a citizen of the town? Haven't been in ages, boy. There's no love lost between me and the corrupt swine in the upper quarter of Corinus. I used to have quite a bit of influence there, you know, but that was months ago. What's wrong? Are you still holding up? That fellow over there has problems with bandits. Too bad for him, but we don't have time for that now. Let's move on. Stay close behind me.
Don't you break down on me now. Stop blabbing. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. So much for you, filthy beast. The water majors are all beside themselves. They've been digging at an excavation site in the northeast for weeks. It's anybody's guess what they're trying to find there. It all started when the earth began trembling like it did in the worst times of the barrier. Horrible stone creatures emerged from the ground, slaying everyone who went within a hundred feet of them. The water mages took the matter in hand and destroyed those hostile invaders. And now they're digging down there, searching for an explanation for these strange events. But you will soon see for yourself. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. Come here, you filthy beast. Nothing to plunder. still go on? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. Could get dangerous here. Let's move on. Keep back a little. Take the ornament. The water mages must be in there somewhere. 
take it to them. If you should meet any beast down in that hole in the ground that looked like they're too much for you, flee forward to Satyrus. He'll take care of the beast for you. I need to go back. And one more thing. Don't even think about strolling around for long with this ornament. Go directly to Satyrus. See you. I know nothing about picking locks. I know nothing about picking locks. Nothing to be had there.
Nothing to be had there. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. Nothing to be had there. Are you mad? Get out of here. It's too dangerous in these vaults for a would-be adventurer. But say, don't I know you? Of course, you bastard. Don't think that I could have forgotten how you betrayed us in the new camp. You drained our mound of ore of all magic power, and then simply disappeared. What exactly did you think you were doing? It was necessary. Without the power of the ore, I could never have defeated the Sleeper. What sort of drivel is that? Sleeper? Defeated? Do you have the slightest idea what you have done? You have confused the structure of magic so much that it could be heard back in Corinus. Count yourself lucky that the barrier simply collapsed one day. What are you complaining about? It all worked out all right. Mind your tongue! What the blazes do you want here anyway? I came here with Lars. Lares? Really? Where is he? I'm alone. Lares went back to the city. What? And he sent you to us alone? What was he thinking? I brought your ornament. What in all the world is that supposed to mean? Who gave you that? Don't tell me that Lara simply handed it over to you. Come off it now. I brought it to you. You do want it, don't you? Certainly. 
but it disturbs me that you have your hand in the game once again. Why are you making such a big deal about that old business with the ore mound? After all, I already worked for you back then, and you can't say that I was unreliable. Uh, and what did it ultimately get me? Hmm. Just don't think that I trust you. Why is this ornament so important to you? It is the key to a portal. I shall not tell you more. I want to join the Ring of Water. What? How do you know about that? Who? Lares. I will kill him. He has broken our first rule. Speak to no one about the Ring of Water. I don't know what I should say. I only trust you where I can keep an eye on you. It was Vatras who told me about the Ring. What? Vatras? Wonderful. Of all the water mages on the island, you run into the one who doesn't know you. I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid this time. I'll make an effort. What are you doing down here? These halls conceal ancient secrets. Mysterious secrets. The inscriptions and murals indicate a very ancient culture. Everything you can see here is written in a language completely unknown to us. We are only just beginning to learn it and grasp its meaning. Since there's no way of stopping you from keeping the other mages from doing their work, you might as well take a message from me to one of them. Tell Riordian that I wish to see him here. He's in the rear part of the vault. You will find him there. Can you teach me anything about magic? So that you can once again interfere with the magical structure? No, I have no time for such games. Hey! What are you doing? I'm studying the culture of the ancient people. Based on the inscriptions, they lived long before our time. I don't know exactly when they erected these halls, but their civilization was highly developed. They built a city on the other side of the mountains, and a temple for Adonos. A lost city on the island of Corinus? Yes. Until now, we lived in the belief that we knew the whole island. We assumed that the entire northeast of the island was one enormous mountain range. But we were wrong. Behind these mountains lies a valley. The city of the ancient people was located there. I would only too gladly see the buildings of the city, but they have probably fallen to dust long ago. How old do you think this place is? Well, I still can't say exactly but it must be several hundred years old. Sacharas wants to see you. Has he gotten further with his investigation? Then I will go to him immediately. If you want to learn more about this complex, talk to Nefarious. You'll find him farther back in these vaults. What with? It makes him believe everything you hear. I never knew that. I knew that would be a problem. That's been known a long time. I knew that would be a problem. Hey, you! May I bother you for a moment? It's you! I never thought I'd see your face again. It's very brave of you to show up here. There was a time we would have skinned you alive. You can be glad that was a few weeks ago, and we've all calmed down. What are you doing here? My task is to find out more about the Guardians of the Temple. 
That is a tough nut, let me tell you. These stone sentinels have a characteristic that is utterly foreign to me. One moment they're standing around completely lifeless, and the next they're attacking you like they're possessed. I still haven't been able to determine their driving power, but one thing is sure, it is of magical origin. Tell me more about these stone sentinels. I can't tell you much so far. Unfortunately, we have had to destroy them. Now, they aren't dangerous. When we came here, they attacked us. We could only defeat them with our combined power. And I'm afraid there are even more waiting for us behind the portal. There must be a way to banish their driving force so that they remain nothing more than statues. Can you sell me some equipment? Why not? If I remember correctly, we've already done business. Tell me what you need. Busy? These vaults are one big mystery for me. It's hard to imagine that no one else found them before now. We were able to uncover the entrance without difficulty. People are so occupied with their daily routine that no one looked more closely at this structure. I have no other explanation for it. What is your task here? I'm trying to find out where this round portal leads. Besides that, I help Nefarious look for the missing ornament. It is certain that this portal leads to another part of the island that we do not yet know. I can't remember ever having heard or read about that. You really want to go through the portal? Of course. Assuming we find that missing ornament, that is. I admit, it is a somewhat risky business. But we must absolutely find out what it has to do with these constant earthquakes. What do you know about the earthquakes? Something on the other side is causing them. The source is probably also causing the stone sentinels to awaken. But that isn't my job. Saturus and Kronos can tell you more about that. What do you think you will find over there? I'm really not sure. I suspect that on the other side there will be a structure similar to this one, and a counterpart to this portal. Everything else we shall see when we get there. What is the fastest way back to the city? I recommend you go back the same way you came. Hmm, but you could also... No, that would be too dangerous. Out with it! Well, the builders of these halls had their own method of traveling. As far as we can tell, they could teleport. That's nothing special. The teleporter stones that we found here in Corinus are special indeed. It seems as though the teleporter stone here in these halls may lead to the harbor city. However, none of us had the courage to try it. Where is this teleporter stone? There is a door in the basin room. I have locked it up behind there. What if I were to try to use it? No idea. We know too little about it. It is possible you wouldn't survive. Give me the key. I want to take a look at this thing. Really? But I take no responsibility for it. Give it here. If you say so, here it is. Where are the other teleporter stones? So far, we've only found one other somewhere in the middle of Corinus, near the Dead Harpy Tavern. Can you teach me anything about magic? Once we're over there, I'll be at your disposal. Hey, you! How's it going? What are you doing here? This is certainly a surprise. I thought you had been killed. Almost. There was quite a fuss about you, you know that? I hardly recognize Satyras. He was so beside himself about that business back then. What sort of portal is that? We suspect that it leads to the Lost Valley, where the ancient culture must have had their city. But the stone behind the portal is made of massive rock, yards thick. Also, there are no signs of teleportation magic. Very mysterious. Do you know how to activate it? One of the missing ornaments seems to be a sort of 
magical key. We'll need it to get any further. It has to fit exactly into the ring-shaped hollow next to the portal. I brought a part of the ornament. Really? That's terrific. Do you have any idea where the other parts are? According to the ancient inscriptions, it was broken into four pieces. And it looks as though the parts are still to be found on the island. With Merdarian's help, I have translated some of the inscriptions. There are hints as to where the remaining pieces are. Here, I've marked some of the places on this map. Look around there. You should pay attention to old structures. They might be somewhat deteriorated and no longer clearly recognizable. It could be almost anything. A large rock, a stone circle, a mausoleum, or something similar. But what am I saying? <laughs> You'll find it. Well, good luck. Why was the ornament broken? Whoever did it wanted to prevent the portal from ever being opened again. The longer I stare at the inscriptions, the more I realize that the priests of the ancient culture really were no fools. There was a good reason that they made the region back there inaccessible. We don't know what awaits us there, but it certainly isn't anything good. About the missing ornaments. Yes? How many were there again? There are four in all. You should find the others where I have marked the map. Hey! Everything all right? It's very brave of you to just walk in here. What are you doing here? I'm studying the language of the builders. The language is the key to understanding the ancient people. Each one of us must learn it, or this expedition will be over before it even begins. The builders use stone tablets to pass on their knowledge. Unfortunately, many of them are broken or were stolen long ago. What's on these stone tablets, then? They contain the collected knowledge of the ancient people. Some of them increase knowledge of combat and magic by magical means. For someone who can read the tablets, they are a real treasure. Can you teach me to read the language? Well, why not? I'll gladly pass on my knowledge to you. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Nothing about picking locks. Monster. 
Gather a around. Beast. Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From the city. Well, Another well. One of those then what are you doing wandering around out here, so far from the protective walls of the city? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Just assuming I would fall back on your help, uh, how much would that cost me? I am merely a humble servant of the king and would not enjoy fleecing a helpless little citizen of the realm. But you know, if you put it like that, I wouldn't object to a little financial backing to promote our future business relationship. Ten gold coins should do for starters. What do you think? I'll think about it. Suit yourself. Have a nice death. I won't tell her a thing from now.